join kids hat family What are you trying to do tofu? I am trying to pluck mangoes from this tree, but the effort is going useless. That's because the mangoes are too far away and the stones are too heavy. Then what should I do, dear? I really want those mangoes. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. The three little pigs. Once upon a time, there was a mama pig and three little pigs. One day, mama pig said to them, You are old enough to build your own houses. The first pig built a house of straw. He said, Now the wolf can't come and catch me and eat me. The second pig built his house with sticks, stronger than the first pig's house. He said, Now the wolf can't come and catch me and eat me. The third pig built his house with bricks, stronger than the second pig's house. He said, Now the wolf can't come and catch me and eat me. Next day, the wolf came to the house made of straw. The wolf knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. I will not let you come in, said the little pig. Then I will huff and puff and blow your house away, said the wolf. So he huffed and puffed. The house of straw fell down. And the wolf ate up the first little pig. Next day, the wolf came to the house made of sticks. He knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. I will not let you come in, said the little pig. Then I will huff and puff and blow your house away, said the wolf. So he huffed and puffed and blew the house away. The house of sticks fell down and the wolf ate up the second little pig. Next day, the wolf came to the house made of bricks. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. I will not let you come in, said the little pig. Then I will huff and puff and blow your house away said the wolf. The big bad wolf tried to huff and puff and blow the house down. But he couldn't. He kept trying for hours but the house was very strong. He tried to enter through the chimney, but the clever third little pig boiled a big pot of water and kept it below the chimney. The wolf fell into it and died. <laughs> so, the way the third wise pig managed to escape from the wolf without using weapons, but through his wisdom, would you be able to do the same? <laughs>
Tia, I'm feeling scared. Would we be able to reach our camp? Yes, Tofu. Don't worry. We will reach our camp soon. But I'm still feeling scared. <laughs> Wait. Let me tell you a similar story. It will help you to distract your mind. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She had golden hair. One morning, she was walking in the forest and lost her way. She saw a friendly cottage. Wow! She knocked on the door. But nobody was there. She went inside. The friendly cottage belonged to three bears. Goldilocks was very hungry. She saw three bowls of porridge on the table. First, she tried a spoonful from Daddy Bear's big bowl. This porridge is too hot. Next, she tried from Mama Bear's medium bowl. This porridge is also too hot. Finally, she tried from Baby Bear's small bowl. This porridge is just right. And she ate the whole bowl. Now Goldilocks was tired. She saw three chairs kept in a room. This chair is too big. This chair is too big too. This chair is just right. But the chair broke. Goldilocks was very tired, so she went upstairs. She saw three beds in the room. She sat on the first bed and thought, This bed is too hard. This bed is too soft. This bed is just right. Soon the three bears came home. Who's been eating my porridge? Asked Daddy Bear. Who's been eating my porridge? Asked Mama Bear. Who's been eating my porridge? And eaten it all up? Cried Baby Bear. Who's been sitting on my chair? Daddy Bear howled. Who's been sitting on my chair? Wondered Mama Bear. Who's been sitting on my chair? And it's broken. Cried Baby Bear. <coughs> they went up in the room and saw Who's been sleeping on my bed? Said Daddy Bear. Who's been sleeping on my bed? Said Mama Bear. Who's been sleeping on my bed? And she is still there! Screamed Baby Bear. Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She was so frightened that she jumped out of the bed and raced through the forest. And she never came back. Goldilocks lost her way too, just like us. <laughs> no, Tofu, we have not lost our way. See, we are already at the camp. Mm. 
what happened tofu tia today in school our teacher asked us to write something about the wolf so why don't you write about it but tia i don't know anything about how a wolf behaves come let me tell you a story and then you would be able to figure out how it behaves the wolf and the crane one day a hungry wolf was eating his prey so rapidly that a bone got stuck in his throat he ran around the forest howling in pain please help me i will reward handsomely anyone who removes the bone from my throat a passing crane took pity on the wolf even though the task was dangerous the lure of the prophet motivated him to help so he decided to help him i will help you but you need to stay still I'll look down your throat and then remove the bone. As promised, the crane did his job. Now give me my reward. Reward? What reward, you greedy fellow? You had your head in my throat and instead of eating you up, I let you go unharmed. That should be reward enough for you. Go away or I'll crush you. The crane walked away disappointed. Although he felt happy that he had helped in saving someone's life. So what did you understand from this story? That one cannot trust the cunnings of a wolf. Right, Tofu. And now would you be able to write about the wolf? Yes, Tia. What are you doing, Tofu? I'm trying to water the plants, but this hose is broken. Come, let me tell you a short story. The Clever Crow. The Clever Crow. One hot day, a thirsty crow flew all over the fields looking for water.
For a long time, he could not find any water. Suddenly, he saw a water jug below the tree. He flew straight down to see if there was any water inside. Yes, he could see some water inside the jug. The crow tried to push his head into the jug. Sadly, he found that the neck of the jug was too narrow. What should I do? I am really thirsty. How do I drink water? Then he tried to push the jug to tilt for the water to flow out, but the jug was too heavy. He looked around and saw some pebbles. He suddenly had a good idea. He started picking up the pebbles one by one, dropping each into the jug. As more and more pebbles filled the jug, the water level kept rising. Soon, it was high enough for the crow to drink. His plan had worked. So, like the clever crow, was able to find a solution to the problem by thinking and working hard, would you be able to find one to this too? Thanks, Tia! young man helping that man to cross the road? That's because he is blind and needs help to cross the road. Oh, how nice of that man to help him. Yes, it's always good to help others. Why, Tia? Come, Tofu, and I'll tell you a story. The Dove and the Ant. One hot day, an ant was walking near a river bank. The poor ant lost its balance and fell inside the water. Oh! Oh! Help me! Please help me! Help me! She screamed for help. As the flow of the river was too strong, she was carried away. A dove was watching all this from a nearby tree. The ant was struggling for life in the water. The dove felt very sad for the little ant. Help me! Please help me! Oh no! The little ant is in trouble! And he decided to help her. Help me! Please help me! He said to the ant, Don't worry my friend, I will save you. The dove quickly plucked off a leaf and dropped it into the water near the struggling ant. The ant moved towards the leaf and climbed up there and the ant reached to the shore safely. The thankful ant said, I will always be grateful to you for saving my life. Few weeks later, the ant saw a bad hunter with a gun. The hunter was targeting at the dove sitting on the tree. Guessing what he was about to do, the ant quickly bit him on the heel. Ouch! You pathetic ant! What have you done? The ant walked away happily as she was able to help the dove in return. Mm -hmm. 
So Tofu, just the way Dove's good deed helped him to get out of danger by the ant, similarly, every good deed we do for others will surely come back to us. Hmm, I will always help the needy. That's like a good boy, Tofu. For your favorite rhymes, stories, and more, join Kids Heart Family. Subscribe here.